hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel once again with the new interesting uh, topic uh, uh, today our topic is uh, how to calculate the external static pressure using uh, ashray duct fitting uh, database uh, so uh, i have uploaded different videos regarding hvac system uh, i am going to plan uh, to uh, uh, add some videos uh, uh, regarding firefighting if you are interested please comment um, so today we will discuss external static pressure what is external static pressure and what is total external static pressure both are uh, different in some ways external static pressure is actually the uh, pressure that overcomes the uh, losses in a duct uh, it may be a duct straight duct it may be a fittings of the ducts elbow reducers any transitions bell mouths uh, and uh, different uh, uh, registers, uh, VCDs that are connected uh, with the duct. These all are comes under the external static pressure. And what is total external static pressure? Total external static pressure is actually the external static pressure of the equipment. It may be an AHU, it may be a fan. So in total external static pressure, you have to uh, add the uh, external static pressure of the supply and external static pressure of the returns and the other uh, pressure drops in AHU it may be a filter it may be a coil it may be a, a pre-coil it may be a fan so these all are come under the total external static pressure and external static pressure is uh, uh, completely um, uh, depends on the uh, duct uh, connected in supply and return line so uh, I have a simple example here you can see there is an FCU and this is the duct connected with the FCU and this is the uh, uh, grill connected with the bell mouth. So if you know the external static pressure of these fittings, these ducts, uh, these ducts, so you can uh, easily uh, provide a data to manufacturer uh, regarding FCU that is uh, the two uh, main uh, data that are required by the manufacturer that is the CFM. Uh, that is the flow rate and the second one is uh, uh, the external static pressure once you provide the ESP or and uh, CFM so you can easily select in FCU, AHU or fan so here you can see there is uh, a transition it is, uh, you can uh, see uh, the this site is almost 139 6 mm and this side is only uh, 600 mm which is uh, 24 by 8 so we we are going to start from this uh, transition we need to calculate the ESP of this transition this duct elbow and again this duct and this transition and this uh, this one uh, most of the data uh, is provided by the manufacturer of uh, grill uh, so you can add it with the, your uh, duct external static pressure so now we will start from this one here you can see this is a supply duct so just su select supply duct in ashray duct fitting database i will provide a link uh, in description so you can do download this software and you can use it for your projects so it's very necessary for a design engineer uh, to uh, know how to calculate the external static pressure so I will select the supply and in supply I will select the rectangular. In rectangular here you can see these are, are the um, accessories are, are the fittings that you need to uh, add to your project for uh, the calculation of ESP. Uh, so I will select here is a transition rectangular two side parallel transition and second one is the parameter round rectangular so I will and select rectangular two side par parallel symmetrical uh, supply air system uh, in my case it's uh, this one this is the transition one side is 600 uh, mm that is uh, 24 inches and one side is 1396 and the 1396 is actually uh, the 54 inches around about 55 55 inches so here you can see uh, in this input you will need these data so you can calculate the pressure loss first of all is the H naught and W of this side and second one is the H1 and L of this side so 
H naught is this side which is uh, 55 inches so you have to put uh, 55 uh, uh, sorry this is the uh, height uh, which is uh, I think it's 8 inches because this duct is 1396 uh, 55 by 8 inches and 24 by 8 inches so here my width is uh, my duct width is uh, uh, sorry duct width is 55 inches and height is 8 inches and in this case I need a length of this uh, transition which is 450 mm which is around about uh, 450 mm which is around about 17.7 .7 inches so just put 17 point uh, sorry in length 17 point seven inches and height is same for both of them and how much cfm is going to pass this uh, transition is 845 cfm 845 cfm and just press on calculate so there's no much uh, pressure loss in this duct so just add it your project for later and now we are going toward the straight duct the straight duct is 24 by 8 inches 845 cfm and 11 or 118 mm which is around about uh, uh, 3.67 feet so I'm going to select a straight duct from uh, this common one this is the straight duct select straight duct height is 8 inches uh, width is uh, 24 inches length is 3.67 feet which is in feet and CFM is 845 CFM just press on calculate and uh, there's also not that much losses in this duct so edit your project for later now you can see there is an elbow 90 degree elbow size is 24 by 8 inches so now add an elbow you can also uh, select from here in uh, supply duct just uh, select elbow but uh, this is not the one I am looking for uh, so just uh, go to our common elbows and smooth radius without wings so this one the elbow uh, I have designed in my project so just uh, put the width which is 24 inches height is 8 inches and uh, the angle theta that is the angle uh, if it's 45 degree elbow you you can put it here 45 it's 90 you can put it 90 and 845 CFM so there is 0.01 inch of water gauge loss uh, in this uh, elbow and put it to your, uh, just add it on your project and you can see it later these are three uh, fittings added now uh, second uh, sorry the third one first second and third then fourth one fourth one is again the straight duct which is 513 uh, mm uh, which is around about 1.71 uh, feet 513 mm divided by 25.4 you can see it is 1.68 uh, of feet sorry uh, 1.68 of feet and uh, size is 25 24 by 8 because it's uh, 24 by 8 throughout uh, toward the uh, resistor so just click on uh, again that straight duct 8 inches is high 24 inches is width 1.68 is the length and floor it is 845 press on calculate it's also have a minor losses so just add it to your project now third one is uh, sorry fifth one is also in transition this site is 24 by 8 and the this site is 850 which is 850 divided by 24 
it's around about 3 point uh, sorry 850 divided by it's around about 33.5 inches so this uh, this side is uh, 33.5 by 8 and this side is 24 by 8 so I am going to select again the transition in supply duct which is the transition uh, height is the uh, you can see the up uh, the this height is 8 inches width is uh, around about 33.4 33.5 and from and the second side height is 8 inches and length of this transition you can uh, calculate from here is around about one feet which is 300 mm so it's in inches so I have put 12 inches and 845 CFM and there's also not that much losses here so add it to your project here you can see uh, you can also print your fittings or uh, you can generate a PDF file for this one I am going to uh, save somewhere in uh, anywhere in downloads so whenever I click on here you can see the uh, PDF file of this you can generate uh, PDF file for all of them and you can submit it in your project so here I have these uh, fitting uh, fittings uh, that added together so just uh, I need to preview here you can see first of all I've select this transition then elbow then straight duct uh, and the transition again so these all are added to the fitting database you can add all these pressure losses uh, and uh, the total pressure loss will be your ESP that is external static pressure loss uh, you can play around with this uh, software uh, all depends on your project all depends on your uh, uh, type of accessories all depends on what's connected so uh, you can uh, ask for a manufacturer to just provide the pressure loss of this uh, uh, this uh, diffuser this resistor this uh, uh, grill and uh, it all will be provided by a manufacturer so uh, once you know all the pressure losses then you will provide this pressure loss data to the manufacturer and you can procure your FCU Thank you for watching my videos. If you have any confusion, any uh, thing, you can ask in comments or you can share your email address uh, so I can uh, communicate with you uh, any type of project. I can, uh, if you have any uh, project and you, and you want to design uh, it for your uh, company, it for your um, yourself, you can contact me. I can provide uh, design services for you. Thank you for watching my video.